Hello everybody, welcome back to part two of creating a messaging app using React and Firebase. So now um, let's just go ahead and resume where we left off in the last video, which was part one. So here, of course, I'm going to show my screen and this is how our app looked. And now we will go back to app.js and this is how it was. So here, what I'm going to do is after this button, I'm just going to put these little curly brackets and this is basically where we can write JavaScript. So here we will do messages, which is the array that we have created right over here and it has all the messages inside of it. And so we will do messages.map and we will get each message, so message. And for each message, what we will do is we will create a p tag with the message, the value of, um, you know, the text that the message has inside of it. So now let's come back over here. And now if I just do, hey, right? And then if I hit send messages, you can see it actually shows that message right over here. So that's the kind of functionality that we're going to hear. So that's what this basically does. It goes through all of the messages and it gets each message and then it creates a p tag for each message that is found inside of the array. And then it just creates a p tag and then puts the text of whatever was inside of that message. So now the next thing that we want to do is just go ahead and implement functionality, which will, um, you know, send the message when we just click enter. So that's the fun kind of functionality that we actually want. So here back into VS code, what I'm going to do is wrap the input and the button inside of a form. So that's basically the way to go. So here I'm just going to create a form and we can just get rid of the action because we don't really need that. And now I'm just gonna cut that from there. So just control X and paste it right after the button. Now if I hit save on that, come back over here. Then if I just hit send a message, um, so I'm just going to do hello. And now if I click enter, as you can see, it actually refreshes. So that's not really what we want. So basically that's the default behavior for a form. So for getting rid of that, what we need to do is just come over here and where the send messages, we can just take in an E and here first we will do E dot prevent, oops, prevent default. So now just, um, you know, stop the form or stop the page from refreshing when we go ahead and submit the form. So let's come back here. Now let's do, hey, then I'm going to click enter. And as you can see, it's, it gets added to the actual um, messages right. So I can just, you know, spam this right here so I can do whatever I want. And it's still going to, you know, put it in the right. So that's really good. Now I can just refresh and yeah. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So the next thing that we will do is going to be to go ahead and install Material UI. So um, it's very simple to install. So I'm just going to go over to materialui.com and here we are on materialui.com and I just want to copy this right over here and just paste it there. So npmi material UI slash core. Just hit enter and that's just gonna take a while to install. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, it's just gonna hit and install then we can actually just hide that. And for bringing it back, you can use control B and again for hiding it, just use control B. Okay, now what we wanna do is just make this button to a capital B. Um, oops, yeah, button like that. And then we have to import it. So basically there's a material UI button. So for importing it, what you need to do is import and like so from at oops, material dash UI slash core. Okay, now if I hit save and come back here, hit refresh, okay. Sometimes it takes a while to compile, but after that, we should see the button. It looks different, it, it looks good, okay? Because it's going to be a material UI button. Now let's come back here. So as you can see, if you come back to the terminal where you're running it, 
it'll show you whether it's compiling or whatever it's doing. So now if I hit send message, boom, as you can see. So this is a material UI button and whenever you click it, as you can see, there's that little ripple effect, which looks really good. Okay, that's actually very good. So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and give this button a variant of um, contain, contained and um, let's just do color, color of primary like so. It's save, come back over here and as you can see that's how it looks. So it just makes it look better. So yeah, that's looking really good right now. So um, the next thing that it's a problem actually, what we have is if I just hit refresh and if I just click the send button with no value inside of the input, then it'll just push an empty string. So if I just keep hitting that, and as you can see, it just pushes a, a bunch of empty strings, which we do not want. So here we're going to come back and what I'm going to do is, is just a simple fix. So we're going to disable this button disabled disabled when there is no input so there is um so the input is null or it's just an empty string okay now let's hit refresh and as you can see now we can't even click it even if we try to hit enter it's not gonna work right so now if we only put in a value so let's just do hello only then we can send it, but after that, it won't work. So yeah, nice. So that's what we want to fix, and it's just a very simple fix right there for um, you know shielding um, from pushing empty messages to the actual database. So that's actually going to come in use at that time too. Now the next thing that we wanna do is just come back over here and I'm just going to go over to material UI and we want to bring in something called a form control. So here I'm just going to go over to form control. I'm just going to search it there. And here we have the import. So I'm just going to copy that and come over here and just paste it in. Okay, so that's basically how we will do it. And here as you can see, there's this little example text. So we're just going to copy that and just put that in right over there. Okay, now we can just delete this HTML4. We can delete this, all of that stuff. Um, oops, uh, yeah, we can delete that, everything there. We don't need form helper text. And here what I will do is just say, um, enter a message or something like that, dot, dot, dot. And we need to go ahead and import this. I just do that and also import the input. Okay, and that's looking good. And now if I save it and come back over here, that's how it looks. So as you can see, there's that nice little animation there. So that's actually really good. Now what we'll do is come back over here and here for this input, we're just going to copy or rather cut all of this and just paste it on that input. And now just get rid of this and then just take the button out of here, do that and then put that right over here. Save. Now come back here and that's how it looks. Now if I do, hey, and then just hit send message, boom, as you can see it already works. So that's good. And basically that's pretty much it for this video. And yeah, so in the next video, what we're basically going to do is just make the messages look a bit better and actually a lot better. And we're just going to create like a message component and render out the messages. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.